hello friends welcome to my channel today in this video we are going to make a beautiful pouch and this pouch can be used for keeping your mobiles your mobile accessories and as a pencil pouch for children i am going to use yarn of two colors for this project and a hook of 3 mm so we are going to begin with yarn of color a and with slip knot chain 1 2 3 4 5 we have to do 28 chains so complete doing 28 chains and we will meet again when these chains would be completed these are 28 chains and the length of the chain is for about 13 centimeters but I am going to make 10 more so that I can keep my mobile inside the pouch when it will be completed. These are 38 chains. And now the length of these chains is for about 17 centimeters. Now, just turn the pattern. These are the loops where we are going to work. Skip the first stitch into the loop of the second stitch. Insert the hook and pull through. Pull through two. Single crochet one. Into the same loop, single crochet two. Into the next stitch, single crochet 1. Into the next stitch, single crochet 1. So complete doing single crochet 1 into all the loops across the row and we will meet again when this row would be completed. When we have completed doing single crochet into all the stitches across the row, into the last stitch of the row we have to do single crochet one into the same stitch single crochet two into the same stitch single crochet three and single crochet four into the same stitch on the top of the next stitch single crochet one on the top of the next stitch single crochet one so now we have to do single crochet one on the top of all the stitches across the row so complete doing single crochet on the top of all the stitches across the row and we will meet again when this row would be completed when this row is complete, into the last stitch, insert the hook in, pull through, single crochet 1, into the same stitch, single crochet 2. Now we have to join these stitches on the top of the first stitch with slip stitch. Chain 1, 2, 3, which counts as a double crochet, into the same stitch, double crochet 2 into the same stitch double crochet three skip one two stitches on the top of the next stitch double crochet one double crochet two double crochet three skip two stitches on the top of the next stitch double crochet one double crochet two double crochet three skip two stitches on the top of the next stitch double crochet one two and three follow the same pattern and complete the row we will meet again when this row would be completed when this row is complete we have to do double crochet one two and three At the end of this row and 
and now you have to skip two stitches on the top of the next stitch three double crochet one two and three again we have to skip two stitches and we have to continue doing three double crochet across the row so complete the row and we will meet again when this row would be completed when the row is complete we have to join the stitches on the top of the third chain of the fourth stitch with slip stitch now chain one two three which counts as a double crochet double crochet two double crochet three do not close the stitch we are going to join yarn of color b from here so pull through both the loops now pull these two yarns yarn over into the next space insert the hook in pull through double crochet one two and three do not close the stitch because we are going to continue with yarn of color a now into the next space double crochet one into the same stitch double crochet two double crochet three do not close the stitch we are going to continue with yarn of color b into the next space double crochet one two and three do not close the stitch we are going to continue with yarn of color a so pull through both the loops into the next space we have to do three double crochet with yarn of color a one two and three do not close the stitch because we are going to continue with yarn of color b follow the same pattern and complete the round we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch with slip stitch now we are going to continue with yarn of color b in this round so chain one two three insert the hook into the space pull through pull through two pull through two double crochet two double crochet three into the next space double crochet one two and three into the next space double crochet one two and three follow the same pattern and complete the round we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch with slip stitch now on the top of the fourth stitch chain three into the same stitch double crochet two into the same stitch double crochet three do not close the stitch switch to yarn of color a into the next gap double crochet one two and three do not close the stitch switch to yarn of color b into the next space double crochet one two and three do not close the stitch switch to yarn of color a into the next space double crochet one two 
and 3 do not close the stitch switch to yarn of color B follow the same pattern and complete the round we will meet again when this round would be completed when the round is complete we join the stitches on the top of the four stitch with slip stitch now we have to switch to yarn of color A and now we are going to repeat first round chain 1 2 3 which counts as a double crochet double crochet 2 3 into the next space 3 double crochet 1 2 and 3 into the next space 3 double crochet 1 2 and 3 so keep on repeating these four rounds 1 2 3 and 4 and keep on growing the pattern to the length you require for your project when we have completed 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 rounds we have to do half double crochet on the top of each stitch across the round so yarn over insert the hook into the stitch pull through pull through all the three half double crochet on the top of the next stitch half double crochet one on the top of the next stitch half double crochet one on the top of the next stitch half double crochet one one half double crochet on the top of the next stitch one half double crochet on the top of the next stitch half double crochet on the top of the next stitch now we have to join the stitches into the second chain of the four stitch with slip stitch chain one now we have to do single crochet on the top of each stitch across the round so follow the same pattern and complete the round by doing single crochet on the top of each stitch and we will meet again when this round would be completed when the round is complete we join the stitches on the top of the four stitch with slip stitch now we have to cut the yarn from here because this clutch is now complete so pull through tightly now we have to take yarn of color A and we have to do chains so we have to begin with slip knot now we have to do chain 50 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so complete doing 50 chains and we will meet again when these chains would be completed when we have completed doing 50 chains into the first stitch insert the hook and pull through pull through two slip stitch into the next stitch slip stitch into the next stitch slip stitch into the next stitch slip stitch so complete the round by doing slip stitch on the top of all the stitches and we will meet again when this row would be completed when this row is complete turn the work on the top of all the stitches we have to do slip stitch again So insert the hook in, pull through, pull through two. Insert the hook on the top of the next stitch, pull through, pull through two. Complete this row by doing slip stitch on the top of all the stitches. And we will meet again when this row would be completed. When this row is complete, we have to turn the pattern again and on the top of all the stitches again we have to do slip stitch. On the top of the next stitch slip stitch on the top of the next stitch slip stitch so follow the same pattern and complete the row and we will meet again when this row would be completed when these rows are complete 
we have to join these two ends together with slip stitch and now we have to join this on the top of the pouch with slip stitch Now we have to cut the yarn from here because this belt is tied to this pouch. Now at the end we have to sew this zipper on the mouth of this pouch. So we have to do simple stitches to stitch this zipper to the mouth of this pouch So we have to sew this zipper on the top of this pouch in this way with simple stitches. So complete sewing this zipper on the top of this pouch and we will meet again when this pouch would be completed. This pouch is going to look like this when it will be completed. You can use this pouch for keeping your mobile phones, for mobile accessories, for your hooks to keep scissors hooks inside the pouch or you can use this pouch as a pencil pouch for your children. Thank you so much.